We are living in unprecedented times where everything is programmed. If you can't wrap your mind around this, then think of all the suggestions you get when you scroll on, let's say, Netflix. It seems like somebody knows so much about your preferences that you don't even have to bother searching for a certain type of movie that you like. It's already handed to you on a plate. We are being manipulated without us having not even the slightest idea. Everything is planned to bring profit to the big corporations, and it's all done through a series of algorithms, which are meant to provide you only with the content that matches your preferences, as long as you keep on using a certain online platform. This might be too deep of a concept for many people to understand, but it's happening as we speak, and it's only up to you to become knowledgeable about it. This mass manipulation that is gradually taking charge of the whole world can start from quite an early age. As parents are busier and busier with their working schedules, it's really useful for them to know that their kid is sitting still, without messing around, even if the little one is basically hypnotized by a screen. Parents often choose to let their children watch whatever YouTube videos they prefer, as long as they can do their work and they don't have to bother entertaining them. It's understandable why so many kids all over the world become so hooked on such social platforms like YouTube, because they are provided with a whole range of options, which makes them feel like they're in control, when actually, they're not. There's so much valuable information that anyone can get from the online world. And, as many have said before, ignorance is a choice. Whether you become informed on certain subjects or not, it's only a matter of choosing what data you want to focus on. So anyone has an equal chance of becoming either an entrepreneur or a very good mathematician, because experts are now creating really good online content that is free of charge and available for everybody to use at any time. Yet so much of this useful information is many times left aside and instead replaced with hours and hours of watching funny dog and cat videos, comedies, games, not to mention, Facebook and Instagram are masters in providing so much intriguing content that you might end up scrolling up and down on their platforms for hours on end. It's no wonder why most people spend an average of five to six hours per day sunk into these platforms, as the digital report from 2019 showed. And this is happening all over the world, at all social levels. Consider Elon Musk who many times posts that he's off from Twitter because it's hooking him, as well as us, the average people. Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, has said himself that he only had an illusory sense of being disciplined enough in terms of using his phone. I've been using it, and I have to tell you, I thought I was fairly disciplined about this, and I was wrong. Eventually, he noticed that that little device is actually eating up too much of his time. It's infectious on all levels, no matter how rich or poor you might be. It not only takes up too much of the valuable time you could be spending more productively, but it also heavily hits hard on the way your brain functions. While for many years it was believed that the human brain stopped evolving at a certain age, new research has clearly exposed that whatever you choose to do and focus on is what will shape your brain. In other words, whatever content you let in is precisely what will build you. Every data you gather from a certain video or post is saved into your subconscious, and it later expresses itself in certain types of behaviors or reactions to external stimuli. So whatever online content you expose yourself to comes as a choice you once made in selecting several times in a row a particular type of data you wanted to receive, such as funny videos or fails and wins compilations. And this is what dictates the algorithms you are manipulated by. Generally speaking, this might not be that harmful because you are the one that actually dictates what content you want to see most in your feeds. For example, Facebook and Twitter might provide you with posts of those accounts that you most interact with. So there are certain algorithms that determine which content will be delivered to you based on your online behavior. Moreover, it seems that these algorithms are exactly what leads to brain damage. This means that your attention and focus are manipulated into engaging only certain types of online content. Also, you become so hooked on them that your productivity significantly decreases 
and you're not able to work on the things that matter most in your life. And each time you indulge in social media for hours on end, your whole body is flooded with enormous amounts of dopamine as you get rewarded with the content you most like without having to work too much for it. Cognitive neuroscientists have many times revealed through their studies that laughing faces, positive recognition by our peers, messages from our loved ones, all have the potential of activating the release of dopamine. The smartphones that so many of us are using these days are basically the suppliers that provide us with unlimited social stimuli, whether it's a heart we get on Instagram or a Facebook notification that pops on our screen. We are bombarded with constant stimulation and it makes us come back for more. That is why, when we have to carry on daily tasks that are a part of our routine and that help us maintain a balanced lifestyle, such as our work or studying for exams, we get so bored because we do not receive that instant gratification that the online world is seducing us with each time we access it. They make more money the more time people spend. So the game becomes how can I throw different persuasive techniques to get people to stay, to spend as long as possible, and to come back. Tristan Harris, a former Google employee, explained that there are certain persuasive psychological principles that are applied in technology. The sole purpose being to keep us, as much as possible, hooked on our devices. There's a whole lab at Stanford that teaches students how to apply uh, persuasive psychology principles into technology to persuade people to use products in a certain way. While app developers might seem like they're providing you with the freedom of choice, you are actually being seduced into this never-ending loop of spending most of your valuable time on their online content. So time has become a currency that many advertising companies are using nowadays in order to build their profits. And smartphones seem like the perfect channels to do so. And it works! Most of the time because your smartphone is providing you with more entertaining or more productive ways of spending time, rather than just experiencing the dull and many times boring reality that we have to face. Going to work each day, taking the same road to the grocery store, doing the same chores around the house just to keep it clean can become, at some point, really boring. So only a Facebook notification popping up on your phone's screen can be that spark you need when you're in the middle of doing the same boring daily routines. Basically, you're receiving a reward, an instant gratification, and this is precisely what keeps you glued to your smart device. Yet once you notice how you feel whenever you use it, can help you understand the boundaries you need to create so that your smartphone does not control your life.